Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Um, so I'm going to do an energy update <clears throat> for the karmic relationship that the Divine Masculine is involved in. And I also want to look at the feminine's energy because I am getting messages that something's going on. There's still heavy energy going on with the, with the feminines. So before I get started though, I do want to say two things. Number one. I think that just a few of you are a little bit confused as to what we are referring to when we say karmic partner. Typically, when I am referring to the karmic partner, I am not referring to you, the viewer, okay? So if you are in the feminine energy of this relationship and you are watching this video, more than likely you are the divine feminine or that is what you would identify with, all right? The karmic partner is someone who the Divine Masculine is currently with. Now, of course, it could be the other way around. It could be the Divine Feminine that has a karmic partner, but <clears throat> usually it's it's the Masculine who's in the karmic relationship, at least for my readings, okay? So the karmic partner is someone that the Divine Masculine is with that is there for a karmic purpose, temporarily to close out some karma, some cycles, to learn some lessons. All right, the Divine Feminine would typically be you, the viewer, unless you just happen to be the, the karmic partner at the moment watching to see what's going on. If you if you know about, you know, the Divine Masculine and <clears throat> their Divine Feminine connection, that could be the case too. But if you, if you are watching this video and leaving me a negative comment because you're hearing negative things being said about the connection between the Divine Masculine and the Karmic Partner, you have misunderstood, okay? That's not what I'm saying at all. So there are a ton of videos out there that explain the difference between the Karmic Partner, um, Soulmates, Twin Flames, Divine Connections, etc. Alright, so you can look that up before you leave a comment. So make sure that you've understood what, what it is that I'm saying exactly. And that's not to say that a Divine Connection doesn't have karma. Yes, you could be married to your twin flame. You could, and then there's separation. You might have children with your twin flame, all right? And you could still be the divine counterpart. Doesn't necessarily make you the karmic partner in the way that we are using this term, all right? Um, there's obviously going to be karma between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. That's not what we're referring to when we say the karmic partner, all right? So, now that that's out of the way, second thing I want to say, regarding negative comments that have unnecessary use of profanity, I am just going to delete them because being negative like that is not helping anyone. It's not helping you, it's not helping your Divine Masculines, it's not helping the other viewers of the video, it's just not helping anybody, alright? It's just negativity. Um, and especially if you are leaving a negative comment on someone else's comment, mocking them or mocking their connection, that's going to be deleted too. And I would suggest that you, you know, just take a good look at your own self and see why you feel the need to bring somebody else down who is in pain. All right. Um, that definitely says a lot about your defense mechanisms and your ego. And I'm sorry to say this, but that's not helping you. But if you can recognize that in yourself and look into it, you can totally move forward from that and you know be able to manifest what you want in your life. If you're just going to be full of negativity and defense mechanisms, I'm sorry, but I believe you're just going to be stuck where you are. So, those will be deleted too. Alright, <clears throat> that's all I had to say. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed um, the past week. And, of course, to all of you who have gotten personal readings with me, I appreciate it so, so much. Alright, so let's start. We're just going to get a theme card for the connection between the masculines and their karmic partners. Not you, the viewer. Okay? Spirit, what is going on? Right. Between the masculine and the karmic partners in their relationship. So we got rising above. Clarity, Freedom, Solution. So this is actually very positive, and it's also number 11. Um, 
so this is really about them seeing the cl seeing clarity in their relationship freedom right freeing themselves from each other and finding the solution to what it is that they need to do perfect perfect that is awesome and i just want to get one more from this deck to complement that between worlds all right so so yes they are rising above they're seeing the bigger picture right of their relationship having clarity um, breaking free and finding the solution and at the moment it's like just as this flamingo is you know it's like half and half half in the past half in the future so this is where they are right now it's like they are about to take that step it's like one foot has already crossed the line right moving on to the next chapter moving on to a new world and one foot though is still left behind so they're in the process of making this transition Let's see if there's anything else, just to get a little more detail. Even though I really don't feel like we need to, but I had planned on it, so let's just see, Spirit. Is there anything else you'd like us to know about? Yeah, see, Ace of Swords. What did I just say? Clarity, right? That was in this card, clarity. Seeing the truth. What else? They're seeing the truth about this connection and what it really is. I feel like the mask is coming off. The lovers in reverse. That's what they're seeing. Let's just get one more. Just one final card, please. Knight of Swords in reverse. All right. So. They're seeing the truth about this connection that is just not destined. It's just not destined. It's not working out, which is why it's in reverse. And then with the Knight of Swords in reverse, I feel like <clears throat> they might still be in a little bit of immature energy, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like this is what they're coming out of. This is what they're coming out of. The immaturity of not having seen the truth before. That of denial. So actually, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't want this to be too long. So let's move on. I want to see what the what is going on with the Divine Masculine. So what are the Divine Masculines currently processing in their life in general? I'm not specifying if it's towards the karmic or the feminines. Just what are they generally going through right now? Right now we're in this upcoming week. Which are being stubborn. Alright. resisting a little bit with cards not wanting to come out. There we go. Peace. Dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts. Alright, we're going to get one more from here. Observer. <clears throat> All right, so they're just really coming with this card. They're really coming to terms with what we saw before. You know what, I wish I had left those cards out. Um, I feel like they're really coming to terms with the clarity that they are seeing about their connection with the, with the karmic. Um, and that they're just getting rid of any, any when it says disturbing thoughts, what I'm getting with this is just <clears throat> thoughts of fear. Right? Whatever it is that was scaring them about leaving this connection or whatever was scaring them about having a new beginning with their Divine Feminines, that's what they are dissolving, right? And they're coming to a place of peace, accepting the truth for what it is. And this is, 
actually towards both their karmic partner and towards their feminines. And with the observer, it's like we said before, that they, what I said, that they were um, just looking at the big picture. Um, <clears throat> this is exactly what they're doing. They're really taking a good look at what it is exactly that's going on and gaining clarity on it. So this is just really confirming the cards that we got before. I just feel like in this case, this is also about their feminines, not only about their karmic partner. So this would also be them really accepting what they're feeling towards their feminines and just, you know, <clears throat> not, not denying it anymore. And I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat. I don't know why lately, every time I make a video, my throat just starts acting up. All right, so let's get more specific. So what is the divine masculine and karmic relationships currently processing? What are they going through? Strength, first card out, yes. How awesome is that? They are stepping into their strength, finding their willpower. The sun in reverse and the knight of wands. So yeah, they're finding the strength to do something about this unhappiness, right? With the sun in reverse. Like this is, I feel like this is what they're getting, getting clarity on how unhappy they are. And knight of wands, they're gaining the strength to actually do something about this unhappiness, all right? Because the Knight of Wands is all about action. This is somebody who takes action based on what it is that they want. It's passionate. Um, it's just driven by like a very strong force. That's awesome. So I don't even think we need to clarify this. Let's just get <clears throat> a couple cards how they're feeling towards their family partners. The world. So yeah, that it's complete. Pretty much that they are they are completing whatever karmic cycles they have. So, Eight of Cups in reverse and the King of Cups. All right, so, so yeah, they're gaining the strength, right? To take action and do something about this unhappiness, but they're still taking it just a little bit slow. With this Eight of Cups in reverse, I feel like they're just taking their time. They're taking their time. They know that it's over with this world card here. They know that it's run its course, the connection with the karmic partner. Um, they're still just resisting, as I said before, when I couldn't get a card to come out. Um, they're resisting the walking away because they're just feeling a little bit too emotional at the moment. Because it's just too much for them right now. Alright? But that's okay. Because they are seeing it for what it is and they are gaining their strength. Let's see... Alright, let's just take a look at what the masculines how they're feeling or what their energy is towards their feminines. The Emperor, yeah, see? First card out for the feminines. They want to take this role. They want to be the man <laughs> for their feminines. You can't get more clear than that. Let's see what else. Seven of Wands in reverse. So it's like, yeah, they're coming out of defensiveness. They're finally putting their ego a little bit to the side. So if um, if you're a Divine Feminine watching this and your Divine Masculine was really like stuck in their ego, I feel like they're beginning to come out of this. They're stepping into the Emperor energy and coming out of, out of their ego that was an obstacle for them.
Yeah. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles. So this is how the masculines right now, <clears throat> this is their energy towards their feminines. They want to be that person that is committed to them with this Ten of Pentacles here. They want to be their emperor. They want to come out of this defensiveness, right? And this could also be what is keeping them from coming forward or from contacting their feminines, right? When, when it's upright, I would feel like this is what would be keeping them back. And I feel like they're coming out of that because they are really feeling this connection. They're really feeling like this is the person that they want to be committed to with this Ten of Pentacles, right? <clears throat> Wow, awesome. I, I, I honestly just don't want to clarify anything. The messages are very, very clear, and I do want this to be just a quick little energy update. So I feel like the masculines, all in all, they are moving forward very well, uh, finding their strength. Um, the karmic and the masculine are gaining clarity into the, into the situation, and the masculines do want to take action. They're still holding back just a little bit, um, not ready to completely walk away, even though they know that it's over, right? Because, you know what, let's just clarify this. Let's go for the Eight of Cups in reverse. Spirit, why is the Eight of Cups in reverse here? Two of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like they're having a hard time kind of planning it out with the two of wands in reverse, it's like they don't know yet how to go go about it. They're gaining the strength. They just need to still make some decisions as to how to go about doing it. So I feel like it's really mostly the practical issues. It could also be the emotional issues here with this king of cups. Um, maybe figuring out how it is that they can deal with it emotionally. Because change is hard, right? No matter how you look at it. No matter how over this connection is, change is hard. Walking away is hard. So let's see. Why is the king of cups here? And why is this two of wands in reverse? So we got the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So we have the Ten of Pentacles here too. <clears throat> so I feel like what it is is that they're emotionally they're finding it hard to leave this commitment that they had with the karmic behind. All right. So it is also on an emotional level, obviously. And with this Knight of Swords, it's like I feel like they're feeling like they're just because the King of Cups with the Knight of Swords, to me that would be being overly emotional. That would be being very, um, just <clears throat> really kind of almost chaotic. Sorry, you can't see the cards, okay. So kind of like a chaotic type of mess going on in their minds with this Knight of Swords, but also in their hearts or it's in their minds about what's going on in their heart. It's like they realize how hard it's going to be emotionally. And this is what they are thinking about. And that's why it's so hard for them to walk away from this. Because they also do feel like, um, they feel like, you know, they've invested in this, right? They had invested in it emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. So to them, it just feels like it would be very impulsive of them to just, you know, to just walk away. And that's why they're holding back. But they feel like they need to calm down. This, this knight, of, knight of Swords is somebody who is just very, can often be very, um, I want to say harsh in a way in their actions and in their decisions and just all over the place, not really having a plan not really thinking things out, just kind of <laughs> letting their um, primal instincts guide them in a way. And I feel like they don't want that. This is why they're not walking away just yet, because they actually 
want to plan things out, right? Because this is this this card came out in reverse because it was explaining why they're not walking away, and it's because they have not planned things out yet. So this is what they want to come out of. All right, so let's actually see. I'm gonna put these over here. Let me do it like this because I want to be able to compare. All right, so let's see <clears throat> what is going on. I don't feel like that meant to come out yet. Let's see what is going on with the Divine Feminine. You know what? Actually, we're going to get oracle cards for them too. So let's get a theme card. What are these feminines? So, Spirit, what are these feminines currently processing? What is going on with these divine feminines whose masculines are still the kind of partner? Alright, we got healing. Reconnecting with your true nature. So, yeah, and this could definitely um, bring forth some heavy energy because healing is not easy. Healing can definitely be heavy. So I, I am getting the, um, the sense that there's also purging going on with this healing. Finding your true self and finding who you are independently um, from, your, from your masculine. Let's see, what else? Come to the edge. Ooh. All right. So I really feel like the feminines are being tested right now. I feel like they are really being pushed to the edge by the universe just to really bring about this healing. So, yeah. So what I said before, I feel like it's being confirmed now about the heaviness. So if you've been feeling heavy energy, if you've been feeling the urge to cry, if you have been crying, or if you've just been feeling a lot of pain out of the blue, this is it. This is the universe pushing you to the edge just so that you can get as much healing done as possible right now. I feel like this is a really crucial point in time. All right, so. All right, so let's see. The general energy of the feminines right now. What are the feminines going through? Let's get more specific. Queen of Wands in reverse. King of Wands. That's an interesting combination. Let's see. Let's get one more. So what I feel is going on here, I feel like the, the Divine Feminines just right now, they're having doubts. They're having doubts about this connection. Um, they're even doubting themselves. They're doubting the connection. They're not sure if it's going to move forward. With this King of Wands here, I feel like Spirit is trying to say that um, you do have the, have the ability to overcome this challenge, right, of these tests, <laughs> this being pushed to the edge. You're just having some doubts about it right now, and you might not be feeling so confident within yourself, but, but you do, all right, with this, because the King of Wands is someone who overcomes challenges, is someone who is confident, is someone who goes after what they want, and they just know, they just know what, what it is that they deserve, they know what they're going to get, they know what they're not going to get, they just know. Um, so that, this is exactly how I'm seeing this. This is the message that's coming through. You do not need to be in this energy. So yeah, it is hard. It is hard. Um, but I do feel also that this is saying that <clears throat> that the feminines will come out of this um, reversed Queen of Wands energy, right? And then they will be upright. And then, yeah, with the lovers in reverse here, it's like, <laughs> they're f exactly, the reason why they're feeling like this is because they don't have this connection yet. It's like, what the hell is going on, right? They're feeling the, the absence 
of this connection with their divine counterpart. But this is exactly what I said. See, with the Four of Swords here, this is this is a part of healing. This is healing after heartbreak. This is healing what whatever pain is still left over. And it's just confirming our first card for the feminine, the healing card. So this is what the feminines are currently going through while the masculines are finding their strength, you know, they're feeling more confident. They actually are feeling confident just because they're still hesitating a little bit to walk away from the karmic does not mean they're not feeling confident. They are. They're in a place of um, clarity, um, getting rid of their fears, their disturbing thoughts, whatever thoughts were holding them back. They're seeing the situation clearly, whereas the feminines right now, they're the ones that are having these doubts. But that's okay. That's okay. This is something that needed to be done in order to, to heal. So let's see. Let's see how the feminines are feeling towards their masculines. So how are the divine feminines <clears throat> feeling towards their masculines? Okay, so we have the king of cups and the devil. Let's get one more. Two of wands, but we also got the tower in reverse. Alright, so so yeah, the, again, so we had, yeah, so we had this, the same card for the Divine Masculine towards their karmic. So again, what I'm getting with this is that even though this is someone who is um, in touch with their feelings, intuitive, I'm also getting that the, because it's with the Devil card here, I'm feeling that the um, Feminines have been overly emotional. Either the past few days, the past week, or just this week still coming up. Um, they might just still be having a little bit of heavy emotional feelings come up. And I do feel like they are being healed though. <clears throat> so two of wands, yeah, it's, it's like, I feel like with this here, I feel like they just don't know how exactly to deal with this with what it is that they're feeling with this tower in reverse, I feel like, yeah, they feel like this shift inside of them, like something needs to change or something is changing inside of them. They might be resisting it a little bit. Um, and it could be the release. It could be this healing, right? This healing could ultimately be releasing the attachment. Sorry, I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep forgetting where the camera is. All right, um, so this really, I, I'm getting that this is releasing the attachment to the connection, to the outcome. And because it's so difficult, right, because it's causing them to be emotionally overwhelmed, I feel like they're just resisting it a little bit. But we will clarify, and we will get some advice. So... Let's see, I want to clarify the Two of Wands and the Tower in reverse. Ace of Swords. Oops. So yeah, <clears throat> I feel like the feminine is really, what's going on with this tower is that they're seeing, they're seeing a bit of the truth here too. And I really feel like what it is, is accepting the situation for what it is now, because that is the truth. The truth of the matter is that right now, this is what's going on. And I feel like the Divine Feminines, because they are intuitive, they know this. And this is what's healing. This is what's healing. What's healing is them, all right, I'm trying to translate the message that's coming through now. <laughs> all right, so what, what it is that they are healing is the denial that they may have had of them having let go when actually they had not released yet these expectations for the outcome. Now, I'm not saying that you're not supposed to have faith. No, you do have faith, okay? 
union is supposed to happen. Union is meant to happen. You are meant to be with your divine counterpart. But having expectations, having high expectations of the masculines for what it is that they're going to do or what they're supposed to do, that is the attachment. And that is the attachment that brings in balance, right? So that is what is being healed. And this is why I feel like the feminines, they're becoming overly emotional because they may have actually even been in denial of how emotional they were about it. Like, I feel like for some of you, this isn't going to resonate with everybody, but for some of you feminines, I feel like you may have gotten to a point where you thought you had let go, and then what happened was all of a sudden you just got emotional out of the blue, or maybe something triggered you, and then that made you realize, right, with this Ace of Swords here, that made you realize that, wait, oh my gosh, there was still more. I was not as detached as I thought I was. There was still more that needed to come out. There was still more, you know, emotional sadness or grief or feelings of loss or feelings of whatever that I needed to work through. So then you did. And that's that's a good thing. And I, I, the message I'm getting now is what I feel like is that um, you may go through these cycles right? But each time another layer is stripped out of you in the good way. So you are just stripping off parts of your ego, stripping away defense mechanisms and seeing what is really going on even within you. And this is part of your healing. This is a huge part of your healing and it is moving you forward really quickly. All right? If there's anything else, yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> so this is what you were resisting, right? So if you're resisting anything, it was resisting this healing and resisting your stability, which is what will bring you this four of wands, right? I feel like this is spirit saying, "Hey, don't resist." It's all going to be okay because look, we have the Four of Wands, which is the Twin Flame card. All right, you just need to relax, let go of this resistance, just let these feelings come up. Don't force yourself to let go. You can't force detachment. All right, so when you're feeling attached, when you're feeling sad, when you're feeling depressed, or like you, you miss him, or that you're feeling impatient and fr frustrated. Feel it. Allow yourself to feel these emotions because that is the only way that they will subside. If you, if you resist them and if you keep suppressing them and just trying to focus your energy elsewhere, trying to escape these feelings, they're just going to creep up on you and seep out in one way or another, right? So I'm really feeling this very, very strongly. But this is the message that needs to come out. Do not force yourself to detach. It's okay to feel this attachment. It's totally okay to feel this attachment. It's only natural that you would feel this attachment. Okay? Just work through it <clears throat> and take it moment by moment if you have to. And eventually it will subside. Because the more you come into clarity about what's what's going on within yourself and you know, that what's going on right now is something you can't control, right? That this is just what the situation is, the easier it will get. So, and I do, I do feel like we're having very positive messages come through though, especially with this four of wands here, right? This is spirit saying, you know, it's okay. Here's some comfort for you, right? This is going to manifest. <clears throat> and then also, you know, we did see that the masculines are moving forward. They're gaining strength. They're feeling like the emperor, stepping into this power. Um, they're letting go of their defense mechanisms. And what they're feeling towards, the, towards their feminines is this commitment. So this was the last card we got um, for the masculines concerning their feminines, was this commitment card. And then the last card we got from the feminines was the 
four of wands. See, that's beautiful. That's, this combination would be union. All right, so. Let's just see if there's any advice. Actually, you know what, that was advice. That message that came through, that was advice. So we'll just finish off with one card from the Romance Angels. Just see if there's a final message from Spirit. Calling in your soulmate and chemistry. All right, so yeah, the connection is still there. That, that's the message I'm getting with this. Don't worry, it's not gone, all right? It's not gone. If you're in no communication and you don't know what the hell's going on with the masculines and the karmics, well, we just saw what's going on, right? They're getting the strength to take action on this unhappiness that they're feeling. Um, the chemistry, though, between the two of you is still there, all right? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I do feel like what Spirit is saying with this is that by healing, by everything, doing everything that I just mentioned and everything we just talked about, you are calling in your soulmate. Oh, there, there we go. That it is coming in. All right. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like if this reading resonated with you. And you can also leave a comment. Let us know your story. Just no negativity, please. Thank you so much. See you guys soon. Bye.